Bengals as they win 38 to 31 in DC over Commanders. Yes, man. It just seems like that the Eagles and Commanders, when they hook up the last three or four times, it's just been absolute holy war. They even had a tie in the process as well, too. And this team, I'm telling you, the Eagles. You know what? I know I had a lot to say last week about this team, but they are special. Right now, they are the number one team in the NFL on the Pop DBIC NFL rankings. They uh, made that official yesterday. They were able to get down 11 and not even blink and go ahead and win this game yesterday. They figured out everything that they were supposed to do as the game kept going along. They didn't force anything. They didn't they didn't panic. They didn't put themselves in the position to where they were going to make more mistakes to lose this game. Jalen Hurts had probably his best game of the season. Four touchdowns, 318 yards uh, passing, and he was absolutely tremendous. Four touchdowns. Uh, I think when I checked it last, when I was looking at it, he had a 140 QBR. But I think he finished up a little bit uh, lower than that, but it wasn't that much lower. But I'm getting the stats now. And what I saw was a very good performance from him. So he finished 135.7. He did get sacked twice. But you know what, though? That's fine when you win the game. He went 29 and 38, and he did not turn over the ball. That has, has been a very strong point for a lot of people with Jalen over the last few weeks. And, you know, Jalen is one of the top guys when it comes to throwing interceptions. So it was good that they were able to protect the ball. DeAndre Swift was able to run the ball. They, he didn't have to share with Jalen. Jalen had six, four carries for six yards, but DeAndre Swift carried most of the load. He probably had one of his more ineffective games because he went had 57 yards. You're used to him having a lot more than that. But it was enough. He was able to get a touchdown there late that really put them ahead in that game. A.J. Brown, once again, another stellar game, uh, another game where he has over 125 yards. He actually set a record for that situation as well, too, with that being his seventh straight game, doing surpassing that, 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 that um, mark in a game. And then Devonta Smith finally was able to join the party again yesterday as well, too. He had 99 yards for seven catches yesterday, and he caught a touchdown as well, too. So he was able to put himself back into the mix of, you know, being somebody that is a top factor for the Eagles because, you know, it just seemed like they were bringing more doubles and triples for him and then say, you know, we'll let A.J. kill us. But we know Devonta is the one that can get loose down the field. So let's take that away so they don't have that option. We can deal with A.J. Brown having these Superman catches. You know what I mean? And it's better than Devonta having these easy walk-ins. And that's what the defenses did. But yesterday, they knew exactly how to attack the uh, the Redskins, and they did exactly that. Um, then you had Julio Jones make an appearance as well, too. He scored a touchdown yesterday as well. So the trio, you know, the wide receiver trio that they're trying to put together out there were good yesterday, even though Julio only got one Catch it was a touchdown. That's what matters. And then um, you looked at the defense. The defense did a pretty decent job yesterday, but they gave up a lot of yardage yesterday, man. 472 yards yesterday. That is something that it does need to be fixed. But at the same time, too, the commanders know exactly how to attack the Eagles. The enemy has a very good sense of how to go about you know, going at the Eagles, and he game planned very well for this team. And, you know, he beat him in the Super Bowl last year when he was uh, the OC for the Chiefs. So, you know, that's how it goes. The commanders, though, on the other hand, they battled. Um, Sam Howe, four touchdowns, one interception, got sacked once, had 397 yards, but he had to throw the ball 52 times. So this goes down as a top 10 quarterback duo. Because when you look at the math of the situation, they threw for 716 yards as in total. Eight touchdowns. QBR 114, QBR 135. OMG. It just was a great game, period, point blank. Um, both guys threw for over 75%. 
this was just an absolute classic and it needs to be i i i would think that this would be top of the news feed for everybody but you know what sometimes when your team's just not that good they're not going to get the same glory of it but we know that when you really sit back and look at week eight this was the game of the day so you know what with that we wrap it up with the idea that the Eagles are the best team in the NFL going into week nine. Okay. It's, it's no if, ands and buts about it. It's no, Oh, I think this, no, it's not. The Eagles are the best team in the NFL going into week nine and we move forward from there. Okay. So we got the 